Hi guys, my name is Annika Sisodia and today I want to tell you guys the 10 things I learned in my early 20s. Now I actually got this idea from another YouTube video and I really enjoyed watching her video. I've linked it down below in the description box. I can't remember her YouTube name off the top of my head but I really liked her stuff. I've linked it down below in the description box and also pinned it in the comments. So that inspired me to make a top 10 things I knew in my early 20s video. And this also addresses all the law of attraction concepts that I try to apply in my life and that have worked. So number one, and that is taking risks. In your early 20s, you have age on your side, provided that you are happy, healthy, and maybe you may even be lucky enough to have help from family, then take risks because you are young and you don't have the responsibilities of maybe a family or taking care of loved ones or whatever it is. Take the risks that set yourself up for financial freedom for your future. For example, say you're miserable in your job or you want to change to a different sector. Maybe you are a doctor and you want to be a banker or maybe you are a banker and you want to be an entrepreneur. Whatever it is, take the risk towards the direction of the life you want. You are young enough to be able to do it without too many responsibilities. Now this also applies to the law of attraction. Say you are taking risks towards being the person you want to be, towards being the entrepreneur or maybe the doctor, whatever it is you want, you are being and doing and acting as if in the direction of the future you want to manifest. So if you want to be a full-time YouTuber and you keep making videos and that is your full-time purpose, then you will be a full-time YouTuber. The same can be applied to any job or any career or whatever path you choose. Now this tip I'm talking from experience, I always wanted to be a full-time YouTuber. I wanted to talk about things I was passionate about online. So that is crypto and stocks, for example. And I have a channel that I talk about crypto stocks and the markets because my background is in finance and I always, always loved it. But I also liked the entrepreneurial element to it. So that's why YouTube suited me. I liked sharing my ideas about crypto stocks and the markets and reporting the news because I would frantically search the news anyway in my spare time. I just ended up sharing what I was learning anyway. And then after that, I started this channel, which as you guys know, is still a new channel. And I do hope that I do have more support in this community later. But in the meantime, I want to just add value. I want to put out good content because I'm speaking from my experiences and my thoughts. And perhaps I'm right, perhaps I'm wrong. But if it resonates with you and you find it to be true as well, then that is the message I want to spread. I want to be able to do what I love and talk about things I would talk about anyway. And the things I learn in my day to day life, I want to share it. And that's why I started this channel. And right now I'm 26 years old and I will be 27 soon. But I wanted to talk about all the things I learned in my early 20s so that I could be in the position I'm in right now. And by all means, I am nowhere near where I want to be. I'm still in my growth phase. Yes, I set up one YouTube business, but I wanted to grow further and in a different niche, in a niche which I was also passionate about, which is the self-development law of attraction niche. So because I took that risk after working in the corporate nine to five sector, which didn't suit me as well, maybe it was the teams I worked for, I'm not sure. I did have some great experiences. I also had some not so great experiences. And I would say the same with being a full-time YouTuber. I've had some good experiences and I've also had some not so great experiences. You know, it's just a different lifestyle choice that I chose. And fortunately, YouTube does reward content creators because honestly, it is really, really hard work to get to a level where you can film and edit and make content and get paid for a living. But because in my life, I have proven this, I have proven that I can earn a living from my YouTube channel and I do from my other YouTube channel, which is about cryptocurrencies, stock markets and market news and everything personal finance. I saw that I was able to monetize that and grow that into a business in four months when I purely dedicated to it. And that brings me to my second point that I wish I knew in my early 20s and that is you cannot skip hard work. Hard work and calculated risks are what I needed to do to be able to do what I loved full time. Now that's one thing I want to emphasize. You cannot cut the hard work. 
Tension in your life can be good because it causes growth. So from a vibrational perspective, your energy is growing into the energy of the reality that you want. So say you want to be a YouTuber or you want to be an entrepreneur, whatever it is, if you put in the hard work, if you feel that tension and if you consistently try to grow and improve and head towards strategy and the way you want to execute yourself, that's when your energy, your thought processes, your behaviors will match the reality that you want. And funnily enough, that's when it gets manifested in this 3D reality. Okay, so point number three is don't force a romantic connection or a friendship or any sort of relationship with someone that doesn't want to give back the same. Now, I don't actually mean give back the same in the exact same way you do it. No, love should be more unconditional. Now, in my early 20s, I remember really wanting to be friends with a specific person. This person may have been popular at school, I can't even remember. But the point is I did care about these things back then, whereas I don't now. Because I believe if you force your energy to meet that other person and they aren't reciprocating, then your energies aren't really a good match for each other anyway. There are so many times that you can meet people that you haven't met for years, maybe ones that you hated 10 years ago, maybe an enemy at school, and then you meet them later in life. Actually, this exact thing did happen to me. Uh, And then you meet them later in life and you're like, oh my gosh, how are you? And there are no hard feelings and, you know, just pure kindness and asking that friend how they've been or whatever. So that actually happened to me. This girl that wasn't a big fan of me and I had no really idea why. She just didn't like me at school. And anyway, years later, and I'm talking like eight to nine years later, I was doing an internship in the city and I was working in the investment banking side And I remember sort of feeling really overworked and overwhelmed about the internship that I just had genuine kindness for more people because I was like, other people could be going through a lot of stuff. Anyway, when my energy was on that level, like by sheer disbelief, I bumped into this girl from school outside the offices and we said hi and it was a great catch up and there was literally no hard feelings. It was like, honestly more love than there was zero negative feelings so that was quite nice and that's something I wish I knew my early 20s that you don't need to force things at the time they don't mesh well together so you don't have to try to be that person's friend you don't have to have that particular love interest you don't have to have that particular job whatever it is you don't have to have them right now you've just got to work on elevating your vibration and being the best energy match to your future. So that means loving yourself. That means working on your career goals or whatever it is you want. So that's the only thing you have in your control. So it's so important you do that and you don't focus on forcing your energy with something that isn't manifesting at that moment. Now I'm gonna round off with my last one or two points because this video is already too long and I will be making a part two. So my fifth point is discipline and patience. We sort of have these amazing ideas of what our 20s are going to be like because of social media and the media. We see movies where the main characters are already super wealthy or super in love with the perfect person or whatever it is. We grow up thinking our 20s are going to be like the movies because let's be honest, humans like to be idealistic and it's actually a really good thing to be idealistic. It makes sure that you strive for better to make you a happier, better energetically aligned person. So then as you get to your early 20s, you're like, oh wow, the reality is a lot harder than I thought. You actually have to put in hard work. You have to actually take action towards what you want to do. You can't be lazy. So that's the main thing. Remove laziness from your early 20s. Try to work on making it better. Now, look, we aren't perfect and we all can have lazy days. Everyone struggles with it, I'm pretty sure. But with discipline and practice, you will have less lazy days. You will have more energy. You will have more zest for life and you will have more time to work on your goals and align your energy. Now, the sixth thing I would say is don't expect results to always happen overnight. Yes, there are some overnight results that you can have, 
but you don't want to just manifest a reality and then lose it because you haven't changed your vibration permanently. You have to permanently change your energy. It's a lifestyle choice. It's not just, well, one day you want it and then you think like it and then you're gonna get it. There is a time delay in reality. So if you want to manifest something different and change your reality in your early 20s to something else, because you have to do what your future self will thank you for. That's another motto I stick by, but anyway, you have to make sure that you are patient and that you take the action steps and put in the hard work and feel that tension and start developing and improving yourself. One, so that your future self will thank you and two, so that you can be a vibrational match to the reality that you want. Because as you start being, you will end up living that reality. And one thing I will say is that I have now manifested love and my ideal career and I used this technique. I mean, I'm not saying I'm exactly where I need to be from my career side because that is also a work in progress. That's something I wish I knew in my early 20s, that there would be a time delay. Like I just said, my career is a work in progress. And I think everyone, even the most successful people, see their careers as a work in progress because it's all relative. It's all relative to you putting out value in the world, either through your passions or your skills. So everyone sort of is a work in progress and you'll see that there is no shortcuts and the faster you realize that, the faster you can actually get to your goals because then you will put in the hard work and try the new avenues so that it can come to your future self faster. Because you're not going to achieve anything if you're sitting at home. You're not going to achieve that dream career or that dream partner if you're just sitting around and you're not taking action. So yeah, guys, those are the things I wished I knew in my early 20s, so 25 and below, because I am 26 now, going to be turning 27. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I hope it gave you guys a chance to get to know me a little better, as I have been making manifestation videos, and it could give you some context of what experience I'm talking about. So if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, and that subscribe button, and that bell notification, and please comment anything you wish you knew when you were in your early 20s that you can say either through experience or something you're learning as you're going by. Also guys, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, so my email is in this video, and I also will be releasing a Manifest Love 30-day course in March and a Manifest Money 30-day course in April. Actually, they're both in the works right now, so I'm not sure if you guys would want the Manifest Money one first and then the Manifest Love or which order. So guys, stay tuned for that because I've worked really hard on them and I really have poured my energy into sharing what I've experienced and how you can apply certain law of attraction techniques and certain life techniques to manifest your dream reality. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.